guys we got the iphone 16 versus the iphone 13 highly requested and uh, let's check this one out i'm pretty excited for this one as well a lot of people were surprised with the iphone 11 comparison uh, so i think it'll this one will be even more surprising this is going to be a tough sell for apple so let's go ahead and check out the hardware here so again really nice hardware on both i don't think the 13 looks outdated at all as you can see almost about the same height and uh, as far as the overall design the camera layout has changed as you can see apple changed it for the spatial video uh, pretty much but like i said they look pretty similar hardware wise what you will notice is that there's a matte finish on the 16 so it doesn't pick up or show fingerprints and you also do have a glossy finish on the 13 and this one looks really good depending on the color you really won't see like fingerprints uh, on here but I don't think the 13 looks outdated at all there are some hardware changes here like Apple's new camera button which a lot of people were saying I was really harsh on some people were calling me an idiot because I <laughs> So people are calling me an idiot because I didn't like it and um, I just think it's unnecessary guys and the placement is really awkward but if you like it you know I would say go to Best Buy just test it out I think it's extremely awkward especially for this generation that films vertical videos and the placement is just really weird uh, now this is really supposed to be an uh, AI button like the Google Lens button but the AI stuff is not out yet so you know I can't really show you guys that um, but yeah, you have that new camera slider button. It's You can use it in landscape. A lot of people are saying it's supposed to be used in landscape. Um, but the issue with this is that it still feels, it feels awkward to me at least. It might not feel awkward to you guys. But still, is this faster than, um, you know, just doing like this with the touchscreen buttons? So like I said, it, it depends on the person, right? Also, something else has changed with the hardware here you'll notice your mute switch is now a universal button you can program this button to do anything you want so that's really cool alright so let's talk about the display so what you will notice is you will be moving from the notch to the dynamic island and um, basically you can interact with the dynamic island and um, the bezels are a bit slimmer so it's a bit more of an immersive display on the 16 but the issue here is that that is kind of it right uh, so the 13 has a OLED display it's 1200 nits peak brightness so it's still a pretty that's pretty decent outdoors I'll have a short for you guys so you guys can see what it looks like in direct sunlight 6.1 inches 1170 by 2532 460 for the PPI and then on the 16 still the same display size at 6.1 OLED 2000 nits peak brightness so it is a much brighter display so if you're at the beach or something like that it is a little bit more uh, viewable and then you also do have 1179 by 2556 uh, resolution 460 so basically identical specs when it comes to the display you do have a stronger glass but it's really not that much noticeable I still I literally have like a light scratches on my 16 already um, but as far as the colors and everything they look identical the biggest thing here is gonna be honestly the the brightness and even the brightness the 13 does a pretty decent job outdoors so I think that the upgrade with the display is really the overall I guess aesthetics of it just the overall you know cutout and then you also do have it's brighter but it just looks more modern I guess with the slimmer bezels and all that but again it's really hard to tell when you put them side by side so I would say for the display decent upgrade it would make it would make a lot of sense if the 16 had like 90 hertz or 120 hertz so you can tell the difference but there's not a whole bunch going on here guys with the display it's not like an actual upgrade all right guys let's talk about these specs a little bit more both running apple a or ios 18 you got the a15 chip on the 13 and then you have the new a18 chip on the 16 here uh, 128 gigs and 8 gigs of RAM that extra RAM is for the Apple intelligence uh, which we will come out eventually sometime in the fall I guess and the iPhone 13 it has a uh, 128 gigs and 4 gigs of RAM so basically you see the score difference here but there's not a big performance jump right you would really have to be like a I would say like a hardcore mobile phone gamer or launching applications it's really not that big of a difference you guys can see the 16 wobbles a lot too because of the camera placement but as you guys can see really not that much faster at all actually 
I think it gets into games kind of noticeably faster, but again, really not that big of a difference. You could wait an extra two, three seconds, not a big deal. But yeah, so as far as speed, the animations are still very smooth on a 13. Alright, so when it does come to gaming, this phone not having 90 hertz, it kind of hurts the performance of this phone because for such an expensive phone, you don't, you can't really do like competitive gaming. You would have to buy the pro models uh, to play PUBG at 120 frames. Um, but the gaming performance is better, right? It doesn't heat up as much. Uh, you can play, you know, games like Genshin and stuff, and you don't have to worry about performance at all. But like I said, the difference here is very minimal. Like uh, the 13, it still plays PUBG at the same settings at 60 frames. And um, for the casual gamer, there is virtually no difference. You won't really notice too much of a difference. Like I said, the biggest thing is that this phone will get uh, gets a little bit warmer than the 16 for sure. Um, but this phone can still play Genshin. It can still pretty much play most games in the App Store. Um, so again, as far as the gaming experience goes, for the casual gamer, this is not really a big difference. And I would even say for the a hardcore gamer, you would just be better off going with the Pro so you can actually get those uh, competitive frame rates. So it just, you know, it just doesn't make sense. It's not a good upgrade for gaming in my opinion. Let's check out these speakers at max volume. We'll start with the 13. So this is an excellent sounding speaker on the 16. It is noticeably louder. The bass hits uh, much better. I think this is a really good upgrade for the speaker. I was really surprised by uh, the speaker this year. It almost makes a 13 sound flat in comparison. So very good uh, speaker upgrade. All right, so let's talk about the cameras here. So. I think this is what a lot of the uh, upgrades come down to now is these cameras. So the 13 has a dual camera setup. It's a 12 megapixel and then we also have a 12 megapixel ultra wide here and shoots in 4K 60 with a 12 megapixel uh, selfie camera that shoots in 4K 60 as well uh, too. The 16 has an updated uh, camera here. It's a 48 megapixel sensor. 12 megapixel ultra wide, it shoots in 4K 60 with a 12 megapixel selfie that shoots in 4K 60. You do now have a macro mode on the um, 16 as well too. And then remember you also have your camera button as well. Now check out these side by side stills and video and let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think this is upgrade worthy?
let's talk about the standby time and overall screen on time with these two phones here. So you do have a better battery life, I would say, on the 16. Um, now my battery health is not that bad on the 13 here. So let's actually go ahead and check it, see what it is. Oh, it's 100%. I thought it was lower than that. Uh, it's 100%. So I don't have bad battery life on the my 13, um, but the battery life and the standby time is so much better on the 16. It doesn't waste power when it's off. So that's one thing that I really like. And you definitely, definitely are getting more screen on time uh, with the 16. Both of these phones have the wireless charging and, and of course the MagSafe so you can use that. And um, yeah, the battery experience I would say is better, but I'm not sure if it's worth upgrading because if you are experiencing a kind of like bad battery on the 13, I would again check your battery health and um, you could just swap the battery out. This phone does not have bad battery. Um, so yeah, so is this worth upgrading? I'm extremely curious on what you guys think. Um, I don't think there's enough here to make people want to upgrade, especially without the Apple intelligence features out. I think that would probably convince a lot of people, but it really depends. Even that depends um, because we need to see how actually useful it is. Uh, but yeah, so what do you guys think?